I feel like we don't thank atheism enough. Right, like when you see some medical miracle, somebody brought back from the edge of death through a rigorous application of modern science, and you hear the Christians rush in and you claim it in the name of God, we're quick to point out their flaw, right? They'll thank God and we'll thank science. But at the same time, I feel like we should remember to thank not God specifically once in a while, because science is a corollary of doubt. You have to begin with atheism. So to flesh this point out, we have to relinquish the binary definition of atheism. Obviously, the existence of God is a binary proposition. Either God exists or God doesn't exist. God can't partially exist. But believing in God's existence isn't as cut and dry. Sure, you can be all the way atheist or all the way theist, but most people exist somewhere in between the polar certainties. And I would argue that our scales of atheism, both personal and collective, define the upper limit of our scientific potential. I mean, that makes sense, right? Like, like if you truly believe that there's a God in the way that most modern theists define God, you have to also believe that God will always be more powerful than man no matter what we achieve, no matter what we learn, no matter what we apply. Sure, you could dedicate your life to advancing our knowledge of the pulmonary system by a fraction, and maybe down the road that could help save a bunch of lives, but it could never be as useful as devoting your life to service to God right, and then later having the ability to call upon his favor, the knowledge and application of medicine would always be of secondary importance to the knowledge and application of prayer. Now, a lot of people accuse me of getting the arrow of causality backwards, right? Science was birthed, after all, in a very religious place during a very religious time, but that all depends on what you're comparing it to. It it arose actually in a nadir of religiosity if you compare their time only to their past. Their age would seem terribly religious to us regardless of which caused which. And while many, if not most, of the great scientific discoveries were made by theists, that only remains true to the extent that you insist on a binary definition of theism. Consider, too, that science arose at a time when the church had something of a monopoly on education, and even if somebody managed to advance our understanding of the world without submitting to both their indoctrination and their authority, that budding scientist would be subject to condemnation, if not execution. Right. So pointing to priests discovering shit doesn't do you a hell of a lot of good. Survivors bias can pretty much excuse all of that. Of course, that only explains the priests making discoveries back in the day. Right. Like, after all, it's been quite a while since the church has burned a heretic at the stake for heretical geology. And the Big Bang was first proposed by a Catholic priest. Right. That's pretty damn sciencey. Hard to argue that he was an atheist. And that tired ass example actually just reinforces the point in another direction because something tells me that Georges Lemaitre wouldn't have been quite as vocal if he'd discovered the opposite, right? That there was no big, like the, the, the fact that science happened to line up with his superstitious bits here is not irrelevant. If I predict a downpour every morning, my methods don't get more sound on the days when it rains. In other words, it's kind of hard to imagine a Catholic priest proposing the theory of evolution by natural selection in, say, 1859 or, or even 1931, for that matter. If fucking George Lemaitre had been a biologist instead of a cosmologist, I doubt very seriously that he'd have had any lasting impact on science at all. Of course, Science isn't like all the bullshit it replaced, so it works regardless of what anybody believes. Medicine works regardless of whether you think it will. Airplanes fly no matter how much you doubt them, and even the most religious of religious people can still see Saturn's rings through a telescope or change their channel with a remote control. I'm not saying that atheism has an exclusive claim on science any more than 2 plus 2 equaling 4 does. I'm saying that science has an exclusive claim on reality, and atheism is just a part of that. 